There are more than 150 plus different items under the jewelry bracelet selection on the Pandora website. There are three different collections that Pandora offers. The Moments line, the ME, Pandora ME line basically, or the Reflections line. And you can find this typically in the title of every single item that you want, that you're looking on their web. And just keep in mind, they're not compatible with each other. Let's get started with the Reflections line. It's basically reminding you a little bit of a watch band. That's the style and mesh basically means steel, which is kind of woven in together, meshed together, hence as the um, as the watch, as you can see. Just to give you an example, this is one of my watches and you can see it's the same material, same style. That's the idea of this bracelet. Now, the mesh line typically has a lot of chokers, but also these bracelets in them by itself. What you see right away, there is um, a charm being clapped on to this bracelet as well. This bracelet or line um, only has these um, clip-on charms that work for it. So keep that in mind when you are considering purchasing this thing or buying this thing, um, that you can only buy these clip-on charms for this type. And the way it works, you just basically wear it like this and it just it hangs down a bit like this. That's the way you would wear this item. It's quite nice. Um, the maximum thing of eye of charms that you're supposed to clip onto this thing is five to seven. The next item is the Pandora ME link chain or the Pandora ME line basically. And I purchased an item for this as well. It's basically everything that is related to, to links, uh, chains basically, or a ring. Rings also falls under this collection style would be Pandora ME. Now what you see here immediately, Again, as I said, links right away. So if you if you like these chains, that's the style to go for. To keep in mind, they have also charms there as well. And as you can see, there's one charm hanging down. It's kind of the smiley thing that you can see. Um, you can attach these to these additional links, let's say, where you can add these. So you can't add it on top of these because it's not intended to. The other thing that you also can add is kind of these additional links like this, which you can purchase there as well you can't add these links anywhere else in the bracelet, only on the specific bracelet area. And the way it works, you would buy this bracelet without this thing, and it would simply have like a couple of smaller chains or links attached to it, which would be in here. You would take these out, replace it with this additional link, and then it has the same length or size. Between you and me, this is the most difficult uh, bracelet to open and close, I'm not gonna lie. So if you are considering buying this for your partner, be prepared that you might have to help him or her to put this on every time he or she wants to leave the house. It's not the easiest. Moving on to the next item, which is basically the backbone of Pandora, which is the Pandora Moments line, or basically the Pandora Moments bracelets like this, which you can see here. And the concept of these is basically really simple. What I'm showing you is the so-called um, Pandora snake chain bracelet, Mo Pandora moment snake chain bracelet. And what you can see coming back to this, you see charms, for example, um, which are, you know, these, this hot chuck as an example. But then you see if you add, for example, lots of these charms, you can add, depending on the size of this bracelet, of course, right? You can add roughly 17 to 22 of these, bra of these charms per bracelet. If you do add lots of bracelets, you will sometimes encounter like smaller gaps of these items. And then for that, there's like a different charm, for example, which are called spacers. They're basically essentially the same thing as a, as a charm. They just have a different way or name because they, they might be a little bit smaller than a typical charm that you've seen. And the way to look at this is you put like lots of these charms there or depending if you like, you can also just cut a couple of them, right? And then you add spacers in between to fill out potential gaps. But again, it's really your preference if you like to do this or if you want to do this even at all. Um, what you also see on this bracelet right here is this chain right here, right? That is called a safety chain. And the reason for a safety chain is if you open up this Pandora bracelet, right? As an example, if you put this on on your wrist, you can see that this pops up quite easily. And if I wouldn't have catched this thing, right? And this uh, safety chain wouldn't have been there, this charm would have fallen out. Now, if you imagine if you have like 17 brace, uh, sorry, 17 charms on this thing, you all have to pick them up on the floor or the table not ideal obviously right what you also see on this bracelet are these so-called sections right here so this one and this one now these are ways to section off the bracelet by itself so if you have for example this hedgehog here on this side um, you could buy a so-called clip which would go on top of this thing right here um, so this this hedgehog will not go further than this 
this clip basically. That's what the clip is for. Now if you have another clip on this side, right, the hedgehog will not go anywhere, luckily, and the charm will stay in place. If you don't want a safety chain, for example, you can buy two clips and keep this hedgehog, for example, in place as well, right? So you not necessarily might not even need the safety chain. Um, again, the safety chain is really necessary if you have lots of bracelets all the way down here as well. One last thing to consider. So if you look at how this bracelet is right now, this is rather new, right? So you can see it still has the round form. Now, if you have, let's say four, five, six, seven charms without a clip and just all being loose and all flailing down and falling down, the risk is if you don't section off your bracelet, you have a couple of charms, for example, here, couple of charms on the other side, right? The bracelet will deform to some degree. Now, another couple of examples where, where you can use the same charms are, for example, these leather bracelets as well. For this one, keep in mind that you can only add five to seven charms on top of this. Plus you need like a specific um, silicone clip to put on this as well, so it doesn't move around as well. The only thing that you also find into this in this collection is are so-called these, um, are these beads bracelets as well, but these, you obviously can't have any charms with this thing. This is a standalone item, right? There's no additional things around this. Let's keep this in mind. If you think this content was far, so far helpful, um, please leave a like, that would be great. And if you think this is generally interesting to you, subscribe for more. The next thing to consider if you, you know, are thinking of any Pandora bracelet is buying the right size. So there's three different ways in getting the size right. Number one, you have one of these ruler things, I don't know what it's called in English, and you simply take your measurements by putting this on your wrist like this, and then you try to measure it as best as you can. Now with that number, in my case, it's for example, 16 centimeters, that is uh, 6.4 inches. Now what you would do if you're going on the Pandora website, you need to add two centimeters and one inch, converting, right? And on top of that number, and that's the bracelet size you should go for. Because if you, if I would buy, for example, a bracelet that has exactly 16 centimeters in, in length for my wrist, then you can't add any more of these charms or additional things because it will be straight tight, right? It, it wouldn't work. If you don't have this fancy thing, you don't want to buy it. The alternative is, uh, or if you have a ruler or something else to measure, um, take your charger cable like this, um, try to measure it, hold it together as well, just so you find the right size, let it go, and then use a ruler to simply measure the same length, right? Really simple, in case you don't have this, but you do have a ruler. Now, the alternative, Pandora offers free shipping. Nice! <laughs> so, I think you know where I'm going with this. The way you can do this is you simply order a couple of these bracelets home, and there's a simple way to test if the bracelet is the right size for you. It's really simple actually. You put the bracelet on like this, right? And you simply put at the very top of it, you put two of your fingers underneath the, the fattest point. So in this case where the, where the closing mechanism is. So the, the, heart, the heart in this example, right? Um, and if you can fit two fingers underneath, it's a good size. If it's too loose, don't buy it. Buy a lower size. And if it's too tight, um, that you can't put your fingers underneath, then go higher, right? Really simple. So that's the way to measure this. That's not the second approach. And the third approach is, you know, just go to a Pandora store if you can, and they'll measure it for you. Another thing that Pandora has mentioned in the past is that over time, these bracelets can expand up to one centimeter. Now I've shown you all these bracelets, right? But which one should you go for? I've done another video where I've gone through all the jewelry collection videos from other creators, just to give you a view on what is the most popular. You can find that video there.